that I'm wiping off the uh, card with. Reducer. It's about 50 50. Might be a little more paint now because I want this, this red to show up kind of dark. Misplaced the shield. Thank you. 
see if I can cut this pressure down a little bit. The Mac valve I got on here. That I won from the uh, Coast Live at 5 feed on Facebook. Drop some brown in there to give it some depth. Fix that. I'm not gonna worry about it now, I'll get to it later. I gotta lighten this up here on the top. I'm gonna erase it. If that doesn't work, I'll just use white. Well, this noise around me kind of blew my focus for a second there.
got a little siphon thing that uh where I clean out my airbrush and I like to keep it away from the board so you don't get that that uh what do you call it that dry I forgot the term they use but you get a little overspray that if, if it's too close if I was cleaning it out right next to the board it would get overspray on my artwork so I keep it behind me or in the back over there and I'll show it in a future feed later once I straighten up the room a little bit. Get this dark blue phase done today so I can get into the skin tones later.
could have corrected that with pencil, but I think I did it with the paint. Get me in my own camera, man. Sometimes I get in the zone and forget to look at the computer. Remember not to paint the same area too much on the surface or to pull up. And you get those spider looking webs and veins and things.
Take your time. Not a race. Thank <laughs> you. 
Wah. Starting to burn a little bit. I started earlier than I normally do today. And passed on the afternoon nap. Basically, I'm just uh, darkening in areas, to give it some depth. questions, just leave them in the comments. I'll be glad to answer them. If you have any critiques, you can leave that in the comments.
case you don't know, I'm right outside JFK, about 10 seconds by airplane, so occasionally you will hear, will hear a plane go over my head, flight class, class. The fight, fight. The flight path is like half a block away.
And now some of you are probably thinking, dang, he paints slow. But um, when I read that some of my favorite airbrush artists take 40, 50, 60 hours doing the piece, I slowed down after that. And you can see the I can see the improvement. In my work since then, I have friends that man, I gotta do a portrait in eight hours. You're not gonna get your best work in eight hours. It's different as a commission piece and the customer's cheap and not paying right, then I can understand it. But I've been painting for years. And I've done hundreds of quick pieces of art. Take my time. And my work comes out way better. Unless you're really, really blessed. You're not getting your best work in eight hours. And if you are, you're probably not going to watch this channel. Try to knock it down as 
soon as possible. And I suggest using a transfer method of some kind get your artwork on the board. It doesn't make sense to spend hours and hours and hours drawing on the surface that you're going to paint over. Because if you transfer it, you'll have two pieces of artwork instead of one. Maybe one day I'll go over transfer methods. A few that I know. darker blue to go in there later. Knock it back some, give it more depth. Just that you uh, do pictures that you know that it's going to be a little difficult for you. Because if you keep painting the same old thing over and over and over that you know you can paint, you're not going to get any better. And if you want to level up, you got to do something that you have it done. Something you're not sure that you could do. Stop doing all those easy pictures of pain all the time. Do something that's going to give you a challenge. It's the only way you're going to get better. You know? this picture of Donna Summer that I want to do this. I know it's going to be tough because it's her picture and it's a glass table and you see her reflection in the table. I want to see if I can paint that. You 
know I could paint her, but can I, re can I paint that reflection too? found a picture like, uh, I don't know, maybe a year ago now, two years ago. I'm going to try that down the line. I got People were asking me to do the, um, show how I do the leather, the patent leather on those cat women I did. Got quite a few compliments on that, and I thank y'all for it. And people want to know how I did it, so I'm probably going to do one on that. like a once a week upload on it. That's how you knock down the overspray. Video should be up now. How, how I did it. Just like that, I was almost gone, man. Thank <laughs> you. 
Made it too wet and it's starting to pool up a little bit. Thank you. 
Another point I wanted to bring up to what I was touching earlier about um, taking your time and you should also invest in a decent airbrush. I see guys in these contests on Facebook and challenges. $20 airbrushes going up against guys who's working with $500 airbrushes. I mean, yeah, they all do the same thing, but if you were playing basketball, would you rather play in a pair of Jordans or some off-the-table skips from Walmart? I mean, yeah, you can ball in both of them. But which one would you rather turn the corner and, and hit a layup or go for the layup in the Walmart sneakers or the Jordans? So invest in a decent airbrush. 
If you don't take this serious, if not. Especially if you're doing art. If you want high details, you're not going to get high details out of a $20 airbrush. I mean, you can doctor them up and dial your nozzle down and yeah, if you know how to do that. But, um, One thing in America, you get what you pay for. And no more. And use a decent, decent quality paint, so. That cheap paint, the sun to hit it, it'll kill it in a fatal way. You want to make something that's going to last forever if it's possible, but for as long as possible. And that cheap paint fades in the sun. It's hard to get fine details out of it because it's not broken down. It's not designed for fine details. Gonna get a hell of a lot more tip dry with it. So don't be cheap with yourself. Get decent equipment, decent paint, and you'll make better artwork. And take your time. You can get a decent airbrush nowadays for a hundred dollars. Which will give you better artwork, and better artwork means you can charge more money. And it'll save you time also.
the, the brush I'm using here, paid a hundred dollars for. I got another one over there. I paid close to five hundred dollars for. This is my favorite brush. But when that brush is brand new, another brush can doesn't even match. But I do like this brush here. Get you a decent brush. I like the side feed because there's no cup in your way. And you don't have to cock, cock it to the side and you won't be spilling paint on yourself, on your artwork. I'll probably mix a darker blue to get in the shadows and whatnot. That's an hour and 15 minutes. Let me see if I can wrap this one up in an hour and a half because tension spans are not like they used to be. Save this upload for the weekend, either Saturday or Sunday, so you can actually take time to watch it. And leave comments. The shorter fees are designed for the commute home if you're taking public transportation. This one is more like for YouTube with the video feeds is cool, but I recommend saving your money and going to one of those airbrush seminars with the hands on instruction. I went to one after I've been airbrushing 20 years plus, and it made a difference. Big up to Javier Soto, Troy Pierce, and Steve Gibsons, because they were the instructors of the class I went to. And it made a difference. It's good to see how other people do things, no matter how much experience you got.
Jonathan Panther Leon. I stood behind him and just watched him. And I learned a lot just standing behind him and watching him. It made a difference. So big up to those four. My boy John Tyson for introducing me to them. I appreciate it. <clears throat> Hopefully one day I'll get the return the favor but I recommend going it's amazing to see that much talent in one room even a lot of the students were really great artists. So. And it's a bit humbling. It's like you. I was always the best in the neighborhood, one of the best in the school. But to be around that kind of talent kind of humbles you and makes you want to step your game up, practice more, work a little harder, and you learn something that you're not going to learn watching videos. You can ask questions. So I recommend you try it. Trust me, it won't hurt. Got a mix of dark or blue. I think that's as dark as I'm gonna get it. I think this one's going to be a good upload, and I appreciate you watching it. If you want to see my work, I'm on Instagram on the Tonism Airbrushing, Facebook, TikTok, Tumblr, and a few more, and if it's not Tonism Airbrushing, it's Tone 1, 3rd Floor, 3RD Floor. And you can hit me up there with your questions. You can hit me here. See, I gotta clean that overspray up. Can't really see it too good. Let me see. You see the overspray? I already took out some of the flesh tone here once. crummy. I'll finish that off camera. You 
gonna race on any smooth surface, metal, canvas, if you have it gessoed and smooth, yepo. And some papers too, but you have to be lighter with your touch. So I'm gonna stop here for now. I think that's gonna be a good feed. Let's see if I can give you a better angle of what I'm up to so far. So until next time, peace.